travel by California out here at Calero County Park, ready to take in some San Jose area gravel. As I make my way around the bay, as as impressive as the size of this body of water is the massive green belt that surrounds it. This provides a lot of open space on top of hundreds of miles of trails, which I'm about to experience the southern end. Now, San Jose is a city that has exploded in recent decades. It's the same for gravel. Let's roll. Thanks to freeways hovering above, it's hard for people passing through to get a grasp of San Jose. While founded as Spain's first civilian settlement in California, without a port like San Francisco and Oakland, San Jose's growth didn't boom until the 1950s with the spread of freeways followed by the tech explosion. You'll find Victorians and shops embracing the eclectic within this dense urban core while also having a nod to the new. While it gets rural, even 20 minutes south of downtown, Calero County Park sits within the city limits, as you can tell by the number of bikers in the parking lot, that this is a good place to be, and even better with the ride Javier mapped out. This 35 mile route was distinctly divided as Calero Canyon Park had that friendly fun for all skill levels, while the hillier all Madden Quicksilver to the west is laced with 19th century history. Still, you're going to top 3,000 feet of climbing while keeping an incredible amount of flow for the duration. With fair warning as we left the Rancho Santa Fe entrance, you see that initial climb in front of you as you exit through one of the many gates you'll encounter going through the property. Not requiring a super effort, the first four miles were mainly uphill. But even as we added a little extra distance on the All Madden Trail, you can tell by the presence of children that the grade comfortably sits in the low single digits. From the start, this is what you want rolling hills to look like. As we soon connected onto a larger loop, continuing onto the Lisa Kilo Trail, where the steadiness continued. Already, I was really enjoying this vibe, as even the rockiest part felt trivial, with the occasional bridge cutting down the grade, making me feel like we were getting a VIP experience. Nature does call, as hitting our high point in Calero only averaged 2% of climbing, the locals were also prepping for the jet stream of downhill fun. For the next two miles as they know, there's plenty of good velocity to go around. Nearing the bottom, we hit a bit of a log jam, but was glad exiting that we didn't encounter these numbers further up the trail. Instead of immediately finishing the loop, we extended the fun by ducking onto the Oak Cove Trail, which you'll find once again, very vertically friendly. You'll cross paths with a number of mountain bikers as underneath the shade of these oaks, you'll enjoy the miles of rollers ahead of you. As you get into the rhythm, the hillside starts to break up, as you can't help but notice the Calero Reservoir built in 1935. 
following the waterline, it's such a pleasure for these open views and spinning at these cozy speeds as it's just a welcoming feeling of inhibition. We decided to turn around under a mile from the main entrance because we were eager for the second half and we were gonna have a blast doing it. We returned to the larger loop, closing out the next three miles on the Cottle Trail, which had a similar profile to the previous section, with one main exception, that this path was one way. Passing through the upcoming gate, we were led back to the smaller first loop, and while at 18 miles, this was already a fulfilling ride, like Billy Idol, we wanted more, 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 if I could only stay on course. We overlapped onto the North Ridge Trail, but took the West Spur on All Madden, which is great if you have a pension for opening gates. Connecting on pavement for a mile, rolling through the rustic new All Madden, instantly recognize all this underestimated history in the area with a number of 19th century cottages backing onto Alamitos Creek accompanied by plaques stating their significance. Connecting Almond and Quicksilver Park, it becomes clear its relevance comes from being the first mining site in California. With operations starting in 1845 and the nationally landmark Casa Grande built back in 1854, you understand the hillside is laced with history. The park has prime bathroom and water facilities as you launch onto the trail with the hardest climb of the day up Mine Hill Road, averaging 8.4% for the first two thirds of it. You stop even off the bat with a how did I not know all this history moment as there's still a lot of climbing left ahead which is largely shaded but protects against most views. Just past a mile you see the future end of this loop at Cape Horn Pass as Silicon Valley comes into your site to help distract a little from the climbing. As you clamor for vistas again, you pass the April Trail, which is a short offshoot with a couple of historic sites, including a reconstructed powder house. Eventually, the shade retreats as you welcome the open sky, where reaching the peak, you catch a glimpse of the way up to Mount Ominum. With the road flattening out, we didn't quite need a sign to tell us that we deserve some payback for our uphill effort. The throttle eased off with little choice, but to view the Guadalupe Reservoir and head our way back on the Randall Trail, which was mainly rollers over slightly more than four miles that trended up. 
Once again, you prominently cruise under the oaks with the occasional opening. And while I've failed to mention the great surface conditions and abundant signage, I came out languishing that I needed more time to explore all these artifacts. Returning to Cape Horn Pass, I knew the next mile would go quick from previous experience. Getting back to the parking lot, we now took the benefit of going through New Almaden downhill, returning through Calero, which you now recognize so near being a contrast of landscapes, double backing again on our first loop, making sure not to circle back again, closing out a fantastic experience I hope we better prepared you for. So. Normally I get punished by not doing my R&D, but this ride beat any expectations I could have had. You know, the first part, if you're a bike shop in the area and someone just bought a gravel, you should send them here. They'll fall in love with it. The second part, at AQS, the history alone makes me feel bad. I didn't study up on it. I would definitely just come back just to hike and just to learn more about the area and you know, California roots. If you want to find more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button or you can support us either by going to our shop or on Patreon so we can bring you more from the state of dirt. <laughs>